Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. This phone has very nice software features, let me show you the first one. If you are surfing on the internet uh, and you see may, a picture here like uh, Mariah Carey and you don't know who it is, but you want to know who it is, you can just ask Google it. But how? Just long press here the home button and for the very first time you have to enable it here by continue, going on try it now. Okay. Now let's mark the picture and the phone will tell us this is my wire carry. If you want to know more about uh, maybe like the jacket here of my wire carry, just long press again the home button and just mark the jacket and the phone will look for some similar jackets on the internet that you can buy it. You can use that tool also for Instagram and so on. It's called circle to search a very nice tool and so many opportunities with. The next feature I want to show you is for the videos you have done with your phone because you can let them run in slow motion without having recorded it in slow motion. Let me show you a bit more about. So I've done already here a video with my little friend jumping around and while I'm now pressing on the screen, the same video is going now in slow motion. Have you seen that? So pretty nice. So let me Run it one more time. He's jumping around. And if I long press here now on the screen, the same video is going in slow motion. Pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for the web browsing again, because you can ask the browser to make a summary of the website. Let me show you a bit more about it. So just go on the internet browser of Samsung. And yeah, let's maybe go now to my web carrier, to her bio. And uh, if I tap now here on the AI symbol, I have the chance to summarize it. Uh, first of all, if you tap there, you need to sign into the Samsung account and so on. And if you don't have one, you can sign it with your Google account as well to have one. Okay, tap then here on summarize. And the phone is creating you a summary of this web page. So the bio of my way carry here in a few words. You can even translate it and so on and copy it to work more on it and so on. So pretty nice for the school and the university and so on. The next feature I want to show you is uh, to use the full screen here because you can do, do things at the same time. You can watch a YouTube video while checking something on the internet. Huh? So that means you can split the screen in two parts. Let me show you how you can do that. Um, let's open maybe YouTube to follow our example. Take then your phone and two fingers, swipe them up below and you have split the screen. And I can choose here um, for an app below. Now let's continue with our example here, use the internet. And then I'm having down the internet browser and on top I'm having YouTube and can watch some videos. Huh? Pretty nice. But don't wonder if this doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features and you will see the point multi window. And I recommend to you to enable the first two points here, swipe for split screen and swipe for pop-up view. Well, I will show you later why. Okay, let me show you it one more time. So choose any app here, you know, maybe notes, just an example, take two fingers, swipe them from below to the middle of the screen and you're split at the screen. Now choose an app here for the lower side, uh, may YouTube here again, and then I'm having here on top the notes and below I can watch a YouTube video during um, I'm writing the text. Well, maybe just an example. By the way, the three points here in the middle allows you to have more space here for the first window or as well for the second one. So pretty, pretty nice. If you want to um, go out again, uh, just close it like this and you're back in the regular mode. There's another nice way to have a smaller window. Uh, let's open maybe YouTube again and you can open it in a pop-up view by sliding here from the corner like this and I can create a little pop-up window as well with YouTube or another app. And then I can go here on the blue bar to put it on another position and I can working meanwhile as well on my phone while watching a YouTube video. Pretty nice. Huh? If you want to remove it, just tap you on the bar, go on the X and it's gone. So a pretty nice mode. The next feature I want to show you is uh, pretty crazy because you can have two spaces on one device. So make a space for your private stuff and another space for your business stuff. Or one space for your private stuff and one space for your very private stuff. 
Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point security and privacy and tap then on <laughs> more security settings. And you will find the point secure folder, You're the first point. Tap on it. Um, for the very first time it's on, you need to uh, log in with your Samsung account. No? And if you don't have one, just create one with your Google email address. It's not that bad and not that difficult. Okay, uh, just go and continue after. And again. So now it is taking a few seconds. Um, and the phone will create now the secure folder and this is the moment I will forward the video. Okay, it was maybe 20 seconds, uh, so but then we are in the next step and now we need to create a pin or a password and so on that it's really secure, you know what I mean. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, pin codes, um, I will choose a very simple one, maybe 4 times the 9. Please choose a better one, uh, just go and continue after. Okay, he's, uh, he don't like my code, so but I will use it anyway. Uh, now repeat the code. No? So your code, now I repeat mine here, four times the nine. Go on OK. OK. This is also nice, I will turn it on because with your Samsung account, in case you forget your password, you can um, yeah, have access again. No? So just go and turn on. Go on next. OK, and here we are in our secure folder. It's an own word no? with an own camera and all the pictures I'm doing here with that camera stays in the secure folder, visible in the gallery of the secure folder. Now we have an own internet browser with an own browsing history. So all the websites I'm surfing you on, they're only visible here at a secure folder. Same with contacts. Now I can have own files, PDF files and so on, only visible here, calendary, own thing and so on. And then can have as well also own apps, but just tapping on the plus symbol. I can choose from existing apps you already on my phone and so on, but this is just a clone. No, if I go on add, I have just a second WhatsApp account here, uh, but I can have also apps uh, I don't have actually on my phone. No, just go on plus on this plus symbol, uh, go on download from Play Store or from the Galaxy Store as you want, and then you can download this app. And it's only visible here in the secure folder, uh, so completely hidden. Okay, let me show you how, how you can access to this secure folder, where it is. Uh, okay, just go to the app drawer like this and look here for the secure folder. Here it is. Uh, here you can have access to a secure folder. But hold on, there's the pin number. Uh, we, have, we need to enter a pin number. Uh, uh, yes, you can set it up in different ways. Uh, by default, it's like this and only if you're on standby mode. Um, then you need to enter the pin code number. If you want to change this, just go into three points, go into settings, and you can change the auto lock no, of the secure folder. Actually, it's only if the screen turns off, no, and also when the screen turns off, but if you want to have it uh, more secure, take the first one here. No? Each time you're leaving an app, no, the secure folder will be locked automatically. Or if you say, I don't want to have any lock and so on, it's uh, too complicated for me, Choose the last one here when the phone restarts. Not only then you need to enter the PIN. And let me show you a bit more about to make it more secure because people know already this kind of secure folder here. Also some people, no? and if they see that, they think, okay, hmm, this guy is hiding some. It sounds more interesting then. No? But you can set it up also that it's not that visible directly. Just go you on the three points to customize it and yeah, tap on customize and I can choose a different logo like um, yeah a little cloud no or a little star no? you can even give that icon another color no? and of course you should give it also another name like our folder or anyhow any name you want no? go after and apply and that means there's now our R folder. No? Anyhow, which name or which icon you choose is just to make it a bit more secure that no one knows really that you have your hidden secret data here on your phone. It's better for the safety. Okay, let me show you something else uh, because may you are having already uh, some data here on your phone which one belongs usually to the secure folder. You can transfer them easily like uh, pictures, videos, PDF files and so on. Just tap you on the three points. Go on uh, add files. 
So and then you can choose your images, videos, audios, and so on. Né? I want to transfer some pictures. And yeah, my little friend here. Oh, this is very private. Mark it. Okay, after go on done. And then you can decide if you want to copy or move it. I would recommend you to, to move it uh, because no one would see it then in the regular gallery. And let it check here at the gallery. Yeah, my friend is gone here from the gallery. Yeah? So he's only visible now here at our folder. And uh, the same thing you can do also in the opposite way. Maybe if you have taken some nice pictures here, but you want to have it to your regular gallery, then you can do it as well. Maybe so just mark here some pictures, go then on more and then go on move out to our folder no, or secure folder or whatever name you have given to your folder. And then they are visible here in your or to add your photos or pictures. The next feature I want to show you is for the camera. So I'm having a question to you. Uh, did you know that you shoot pictures with just 12 MPs, not 50 MPs? Yes, you're doing just pictures of 12 MPs. Let me show you how you can change it. So just tap you on the camera and here you can change it. No? The 12 M is not for 12 months. No, it's just for 12 megapixels. And you can change it to 50 megapixels. Huh? The only disadvantage is you can't zoom in too much, just for five times, but I think it's okay. And you have to hold sometimes your hand um, steady. And um, the light should be okay as well. So if you are having low light pictures, you should shoot pictures here with 12 megapixels. Huh? This would be here the best then, uh, because the pictures become a bit more smooth as well. Smooth, smooth, <laughs> smooth. Ah, sorry for my English. Um, they're becoming more smooth, and um, yeah, uh, so this is recommended. And of course, they don't need so much storage, so you should decide if you want to have really a pretty, pretty nice picture. And if you have nice conditions, take here the 50 MPs. Okay, and if you're ready here at the camera, let's take a picture with a coin. I want to show you also something pretty awesome here. And yeah, let's go here to the preview. We can go also later to the gallery to have a look on the picture. Then go here on the pen to edit the picture. And go here on AI, on this symbol here, no, with the stars. Okay, um, let me show you a bit about, because now we can long press here the coin. Okay, now I have, uh, um, yeah. Recognize it here the, or, or mark it here. I'm sorry with uh, the phone and I can delete it now Just an example I go on generate and The coin should disappear. It's taking a few seconds and It is disappeared huh? and what is pretty nice. You see it was before and did you see, do you see that the um, the uh, table is marked here, but it imitates as well here the mark of the table. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so you can't really recognize it. Um, let me show you a bit more about. You can do also some more stuff here. Let me again here on um, the, the coin because I can long press it again and I can make it even bigger and I can put it to another position. Let me put it now bigger to another position. Go on generate. And then let's see what happens. So it's taking a few seconds. You see, it imitates again the table here and the coin is now bigger. And you can do it with so many stuff and so on. Um, it should be not too much uh, on, the, on the picture, but it's okay. Uh, you should try it a bit out. It's just at the beginning, the, these features here. Uh, but um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities with that. And yeah, after just go here on done and go on save as copy. Okay. And this picture is now part here of our gallery. So this is the main picture we have done. And this is the second one. Crazy, huh? In the next feature I want to show you is something for the environment because you can save energy here with the phone with a power saving mode. I think you notice already here, you just scroll on here, scroll on the second time, then you have here the battery to save energy. Uh, like the CPU speed is limited, the 5G is disabled, like some background activities. 
but you can squeeze out much, much more from this power saving mode by long pressing it. And now you will see it first of all the options, no, which one are disabled or no, limited and so on. But uh, you can squeeze out much more. With the power saving mode here, we have three days and one hour with 56% of battery charging. Huh? Let me turn it off here first. And with an innocent point called limit apps and home screen, we would have much more. We more than double it with it. And we have almost nine days with 56% of charging, almost nine days. Let me show you how it looks like with. Let us turn it on. And we have now a limit app screen here. And we have a dark theme here because uh, the AMOLED screen will turn off some pixels here. So everything what is black here is uh, without any pixel light and so on. That saves a lot of energy. We have, um, yeah, um, limited uh, screen timeout here and so on. And yeah, we can add here some apps. Don't worry, you still can watch YouTube, you still can use WhatsApp and so on. So you can use all the apps. You can even play games here in this mode. Yeah? Okay, it should be not these ones, uh, these racing games and so on, which one needs a lot of power. But regular games you can easily play here in this mode and it's, safe, it's saving a lot of energies, uh, almost three times more than basically. It's really amazing. And uh, it could really save your life as well no? if, you, if you're out of charging, uh, so if, if you can't charge your phone, but you, you need your phone and you have just maybe 5% on it, um, it can save your life one day. Okay, if you have the chance to charge it again, or if you don't need the power saving mode anymore, just tap on the three points, go and turn off power saving, and you're back at the regular mode. Nothing is deleted and something like this, it's just another uh, desktop here. Um, to save a bit of energy. So pretty nice. Yeah, and the last feature I want to show you is also an AI feature, even if it's there for long already, so it's not brand new, but it's still nice. And uh, that's the reason why I want to show you that. So just tap you on the camera, go here on more, and tap you on Bixby Vision. Okay, um, maybe you need to make an update first or something like this, but the phone will guide you during this process, and now you can choose here between text and translate. So these are the most most powerful tools here at the phone. So let me mark the text here. So let me hover the phone over text and it will, um, yeah, it will mark the text. And I can mark in this text now also some words. It's detected everything and so on. I can even uh, make a picture uh, on some book pages and so on. And I have done the complete text and I can really copy it and work on it. Pretty nice for the studies and so on. And I can even translate it and so on. And if I put translation, we can go also here to translate. And I can hover my phone over the book. And the phone is auto detecting the language. I haven't told them, I haven't told the phone that it's German. It's auto detecting the language immediately. It's transferred into the English language. And I can also copy it uh, and so on and work on it. So pretty. Pretty nice for the studies, pretty, pretty nice for the holidays. Now you know what you order in a restaurant and so on. Um, so a very nice feature. Yeah, I hope I could help you uh, with this video and show you some nice uh, tips and tricks here uh, for the phone. And yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in it, some more tips and tricks and so on. Uh, you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support and yeah, maybe the next time. <laughs> Ciao.